Welcome to the video. In this video, we will be learning a very simple yet a very powerful feature on how to use a screen marker in Google Meet. We use Google Meet presenter feature to present our screen to the students. During this presentation, we generally require a marker to emphasize on certain things or highlight them. Unfortunately, Google Meet doesn't have an inbuilt screen marker. So we will install a screen marker called G Ink and use it in our meetings. G Ink is an open source software, hence it is 100% safe to use. So let's begin. To install G Ink, we need to first download it. The process of download is very simple. Start a new Google Chrome window and from here we will search for G Ink software download. You can even use the link that I have given in the description section. Now from here, we'll be using the first search result that is displayed by Google. Once you are on the G Inc page, you'll find a green button which is having a download sign. From this, we would be downloading the zip file for G Inc. It's a very small software, less than 1 MB, so it won't take much time to download. Once the download finishes, open the download folder. You will find a zip file with G Inc master. Extract this Gink file. Once the extraction process is over, open the uh, folder that is created. In this folder, you will find another folder with the name bin. Open this bin folder. Here you will find the G Inc application. Now we need to simply make a shortcut of this G Inc on our desktop. So right click on it. And from send to option, choose desktop create shortcut. We will see a shortcut for Gink is created on the desktop. The installation process is over. To use Gink, simply double click on the application icon. It will ask for run. <coughs> simply press run button. You will observe that a Gink icon is created in the system tray. Click on this, the G Inc application is ready to use. Now using G Inc in our Google Meet is really simple. To launch G Inc, we'll move to the system tray and we'll simply click on the G Inc icon. All the tools available in G Inc are now visible at the bottom of the screen. You can see there are few kinds of pen, a highlighter, eraser, a tool to pen our marks, then we have a mouse pointer.
This is the most important tool. This tool will help us toggle between the application and Jing. I'll give its demo a little later. Then we have a tool to change the pen width. Make uh, next is ink uh, to make the marks visible or invisible. Take a snapshot, undo a mark, clean the complete image, and finally to close the uh, Jink tool. Now let's have a small demo of Jink in our Google Meet. First of all, I started Jink from the system tray. I simply clicked on the G-Ink icon and all the tools of the G-Ink are now visible at the bottom of the screen. First of all, let's talk about this pointer icon. When this mouse pointer is black, this means that we are using mouse pointer for the G-Ink. If you simply click it, it will become orange and this means now we are using it for the parent application. I dock all the icons and start a new presentation for my meet. I am sharing the entire screen. Now in this presentation, I want to use my Jing tools. I simply undock them and use few of the pens. See I can put simple lines with various available colors. I can put some marks as per my choice. Or at point, I can even highlight some things. To increase the pen size, I'll go to the pen width and will increase the size of my pen. To remove one or uh, more of the marks, I can use the erase tool. To completely clean the screen, I can use the clear button. If I want to stop using the G Ink tool, I can simply click on the cross. So I hope you all understood how to use Jing as a screen marker in Google Meet. Thank you.